Hello and welcome. Today we are diving into the world of Java Development Kits, or JDKs for short. But not just any JDKs, we're uncovering the differences between Oracle JDK and OpenJDK. In the vast expanse of software development, JDKs hold high importance. They are essentially the toolkits that allow us to build and run Java applications. Think of them as the magic box of tools that a Java developer keeps handy. But just as every artist has a preferred set of brushes, every Java developer has a preferred JDK. Among the array of JDKs out there, Oracle JDK and OpenJDK are two names that frequently pop up. They're like the star players on the team, each with its own strengths and specialties. But what makes them different? Why would a developer choose one over the other? These are the questions we'll be exploring in this video. We'll delve into the world of Oracle JDK and OpenJDK, unearthing their similarities, their differences, and their unique features. So buckle up as we delve into Oracle JDK and OpenJDK, their similarities, their differences, and their unique features. First up, let's understand what Oracle JDK is. Oracle JDK, or Java Development Kit, is a product of Oracle Corporation and is essentially a commercial implementation of JDK. Now, you might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, think of the JDK as a toolkit for building software applications in the Java programming language. Oracle JDK is one version of this toolkit, crafted and maintained by Oracle Corporation, one of the leading technology companies in the world. One of the key features of Oracle JDK is its robust performance. It's designed to run smoothly and efficiently, enabling developers to build and run high-performing, scalable applications. This becomes especially important when dealing with large-scale, complex software projects. But that's not all. Oracle JDK also comes with a wide range of tools and utilities that help developers throughout the software development lifecycle. Whether it's debugging an issue, profiling application performance, or monitoring system health, Oracle JDK has got you covered. And then there's the support aspect. With Oracle JDK, you get premium support from Oracle Corporation. This means access to regular updates, patches, and security fixes, along with dedicated customer service. If you're a business, this can be a significant advantage as it ensures your Java applications remain secure and up-to-date. In addition to these, Oracle JDK also includes some commercial features that are not available in other JDK distributions. These features, such as Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control, provide advanced diagnostic and monitoring capabilities, thus enhancing the overall development experience. So, to sum it up, Oracle JDK is a commercial implementation of the Java Development Kit, packed with robust performance features, a wide range of tools and utilities, premium support from Oracle Corporation, and some exclusive commercial features. It's a comprehensive package designed to meet the needs of professional software developers and businesses. That was a brief overview of Oracle JDK. Now let's switch gears and talk about OpenJDK. Now, on to OpenJDK. What is it and how is it different? Well, OpenJDK or Open Java Development Kit is an open source implementation of the Java Development Kit. It's the place where innovation happens in the Java ecosystem. And the best part? It's absolutely free to use. It's maintained by a thriving community of developers and organizations who are passionate about moving Java technology forward. OpenJDK provides a robust, stable and secure environment for building and running Java applications and services. It offers a comprehensive suite of tools, libraries, and frameworks that developers need to create high-performance, scalable, and secure software. But what makes OpenJDK truly stand out is its open-source nature. Being open-source means that anyone can contribute to its development, making it a vibrant and ever-evolving platform. This also means that it benefits from the collective wisdom and expertise of a global community of developers who work together to improve its features, performance, and security. Speaking of performance, OpenJDK has been designed to deliver high performance across a wide range of applications and workloads. It uses advanced techniques such as just-in-time compilation and adaptive optimization to ensure that your Java applications run as fast and efficiently as possible. Now, let's talk about community support. OpenJDK is backed by a large and active community of developers and users. This community provides support, shares knowledge, and collaborates on new features and improvements. If you ever run into a problem or need help, chances are someone in the community has already faced the same issue and can help you out. So that gives us an understanding of OpenJDK, but how does it stand when compared directly with Oracle JDK? 
Now let's stack Oracle JDK and OpenJDK side by side and see how they compare. When it comes to performance, both Oracle JDK and OpenJDK are quite similar. They both offer high performance and are capable of running complex applications. However, Oracle JDK has a slight edge due to its commercial support and additional performance enhancements that come with it. Let's talk about support. Oracle JDK offers professional, paid support, which can be a crucial factor for commercial projects where downtime can cost a fortune. On the other hand, OpenJDK is supported by a vibrant community of developers and users. While there's no professional support, the community can be a great resource for solving problems and finding answers. Now let's move on to licensing. Oracle JDK is governed by the Oracle Binary Code License Agreement, which has certain restrictions and commercial terms. OpenJDK, on the other hand, is open source and distributed under the GNU General Public License. This means you can modify, distribute, and use it freely, making it a preferred choice for developers who want more freedom and flexibility. Updates are another important factor to consider. Oracle JDK has a predictable release schedule with long-term support versions released every three years. OpenJDK also has a regular release schedule, but it's more frequent, with new versions coming out every six months. While this means you get the latest features and improvements faster with OpenJDK, it also means you need to update more frequently, which may not be ideal for everyone. So what are the pros and cons? Oracle JDK's primary advantages are its professional support and performance enhancements, making it a good choice for commercial applications. Its main downside is its licensing, which may not be ideal for all users. OpenJDK's main advantage is its open source nature, which offers more freedom and flexibility. Its frequent updates also mean you get new features faster. However, the lack of professional support can be a downside for some users. In terms of preference, it really depends on your specific needs and circumstances. If you need professional support and are willing to pay for it, Oracle JDK may be the better choice. If you're working on a project where freedom, flexibility, and getting the latest features quickly are important, OpenJDK might be the way to go. As we can see, both Oracle JDK and OpenJDK have their own strengths and weaknesses. But what's the bottom line? So, we've gone through Oracle JDK and OpenJDK, but which one should you choose? That's probably the question bubbling in your mind right now. Let's quickly recap what we've covered to help you decide. We started with understanding what JDKs are, the powerhouse of Java programming if you will. Then we dove into Oracle JDK, a commercial product with a cost attached. Its perks include long-term support, commercial features, and a slower but more stable release cycle. It's a solid choice for businesses that need stability and are willing to pay for extended support. Then we moved on to OpenJDK, an open source alternative that's free to use. It has a faster release cycle, meaning you'll get access to new features quicker. But remember, this could also mean dealing with potential bugs sooner. It's a great choice if you're into open source projects or if you're working on a project where cost is a significant factor. We also discussed the differences between the two. Oracle JDK and OpenJDK are similar in many ways because Oracle JDK is based on OpenJDK's code. But their licensing, release schedules, and support differ, which could impact your choice. Oracle JDK's commercial license and long-term support make it an attractive choice for businesses, while OpenJDK's open-source nature and rapid release cycle appeal to individual developers and cost-conscious projects. So, which one should you choose? Well, it depends on your requirements. If you need stability and long-term support, Oracle JDK might be the way to go. But if you're all about the latest features and don't mind the occasional bug, OpenJDK could be your best bet. And that's a wrap on our comparison of Oracle JDK and OpenJDK. Remember, the choice ultimately depends on your specific needs and circumstances. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more interesting discussions.